Hello everybody, this is Kaizen here and welcome to a brand new series on my episode. This series will be a let's play including gameplay, strategy and tips for the Airline Tycoon game. Uh, now it's a great game, it's a bit of an old one but it is a great game and I'm going to jump right in actually to a game that I played before and uh, just show you guys a few things. So this is kind of the premise, you've got your character, you're in an airport and you can see here my money is 5.3 billion. Now I want to show you that because you start with 1.5 million dollars. So the, the growth potential in this game, your expansion rate is, is just huge. Um, and that's all part of the fun really is, is obviously building up your, your money and, and your flights and that kind of thing. That's kind of how it all works. Talking about flights, uh, that's kind of the cornerstone of this game. If we jump in here, these are all planes. You start with just two of them, and you'll see here I now have 12 pages of planes. And I can click on any one of these planes, and they're all fully booked and making me a lot of money. Um, so that's great. And the final thing I thought I would show you is, this right here is a gate where people board your planes. Um, and you can see here that the red guy, uh, that's one of my competitors, which I will come on to, has just one. Uh, whereas I've got seven of them. If we scroll down here, you'll see there are seven green gates. You only start with one. So again, that's all to do with the expansion that I've done. Now the reason I thought I'd show you that is because this game uh, can be a little bit slow to start, you've got to kind of put some good foundations in place and that takes a little bit of time. But once you do that you can get to a very fun stage where you're doing what I'm doing here and I'm going to show you how to do that throughout this Let's Play series. So I thought it'd be great to show you uh, before we start kind of what level we can get to uh, by playing this game. So anyway, enough of that, let's quit this session. Um, and we're going to start a new game, but I'm just going to go through one very important tip. This is the first tip I'm going to give you uh, for this game. That's your home airport. So you get to choose your home airport from a whole range of different airports all over the world. Now you'll see here mine is currently set to London, and that's no mistake. I think it's very important to get the right home airport, um, otherwise it's just going to take you a lot longer to advance to the level that we just saw in that game. Now with London it's very central, so you've got loads of little flights that you can do uh, throughout Europe, which is very, very useful, and we'll come on to that throughout the gameplay. You've also got good potential to do some longer flights, because you can fly across to like America, for example, and uh, they can earn you a lot of money. So I would say, choose somewhere that's quite central, really anywhere in Europe is going to be a pretty good bet, um, or if you go for somewhere in America, it's not, it's not so bad because you can fly throughout you know, different cities in America, um, but try not to choose like an, a remote island somewhere or like somewhere, somewhere in Australia or something like that. Uh, it's just a little bit too remote, it's gonna make it more difficult. So we're gonna go for a free game. Um, now what I've done here is these are not the names of the people. Obviously you can see here Kaizen, that's gonna be me. Um, but we've got Haley, um, and these are all named after donators by the way. So these are my top donators today and that seemed like the fairest way to do it. Um, anyone else that has donated, you will also be included in this series. I'll name like planes and things after you guys. So don't worry, no one's going to be left out, but these are just the top three at the moment. So we've got Haley there, the only female character that's part of this game um, with Sunshine Airways, Captain Ash at Phoenix Travel, and Zare with Honey Airlines. Of course, I am playing Kaizen as Falcon Lines. Um, so these are going to be our competitors, and we're going to try to knock them out one by one. So uh, although they're in the game right now, they will eventually be gone if I play correctly. So when we start, uh, the first thing that happens, you see we're all walking in here, it's in the morning, Thursday, 9am, and we have a meeting with the airport manager. Um, and they talk a lot in this game, so I'm going to let them get on with that. Ah, so you're the new tycoons. Interesting. I would like to make one thing completely clear. I will not tolerate anything which upsets my airport, so mind what you're doing. Okay, that's all I wanted to say. We will meet tomorrow morning at 9am. So you have those meetings every single day and they you have the option to skip them but basically they just kind of update you as to how your airline is doing and the guy that was speaking there is the airline manager, so the airport manager. So you gotta keep him fairly happy. All right, so this is our office. This is where all of the business is done for the game. This is where we earn our money. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is go right over to here. This is our file facts for flight planning. As I said, you start with just two planes. So we're gonna have a look at this one. Now, if I click on this plane, both of these are still green, so it means that this plane is able to fly both of these. Um, if I click on this one, it's also able to fly both of them. But the planes have different requirements in terms of the passengers they can handle, uh, the distance they can travel, all that sort of stuff. So it's sometimes you'll have it where you can't fly a certain flight because it has too many passengers, whatever. Anyway, I'm rambling a little bit here, but what I want to do is if I go to London to Rome and chuck that in there, I'll make 33K. If I do it on the Gulsar, I will make 28K. So we're going to go back to this one and chuck it in here. Um, now we want to put it as early as possible just to get that done and get the money coming in. Now this one here says until until. This one here said Thursday which means it has to be flown on Thursday. Until until is essentially a bug. It's going to be until a certain day which might be Friday, Saturday, Sunday and the way you can check that is basically just click down here that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Oh look at this. Oh well okay so it's got all the way until next week. 
Um, so with that one, what we're going to do is I'm just going to chuck it there for now. I know that it's until, oh, it says there until Wednesday. Okay, so it came up uh, over on the right hand of the screen there. You'll see it over here until Wednesday, but it just says until until there. Um, so we know we've got until Wednesday to do that one. So we've got this plane here, the Gera, and I'm going to show you a little tip, uh, second tip. So this one here can take 126 passengers, 16 tons, and go 3,800 kilometers, right? We don't need to worry about the 70 because the measurements are not that precise when we take flights. So my first tip to you is to rename this plane 126, so passengers first, then fright, then range. So we're going to call this plane 126.16.3800. So let's do that right now and I actually need to be over here to do that. Um, so it was 126.16.3800. So now when I look at that plane on this list here, I can see very quickly what specs it's got and then look at my flights and what's going to happen there. And it will kind of cement them in your mind as well as to, okay, I've got a 126 and I've got, and then we'll do this one here, which is going to be 180.24.64. So 180.24.64. Like that, um, and again, it's just a good, quick, easy way of remembering which planes which. Um, and I come on to naming planes a lot more as we go through this game, um, but that for now is all we need to worry about. So what I know is that this plane is currently in London; it currently has no flights. So I'm going to go to last-minute travel now. Um, before I do that, I just want to explain something. You can use hotkeys in this game. Uh, learn the hotkeys, guys. I'm going to help you learn them because every time I go somewhere, I'm going to say the name. I'm going to say the hotkey I'm going to. So that help you to remember which one's which and how you get there. So last minute travel is L. And if I hit L twice, my guy goes sprinting off there. If I hit spacebar, we go straight there and we don't have to watch him run there. So there's a London flight here today. Um, now the premium, that's quite low, 30K. Um, that's before expenses. The premium is not the profit. It's a big tip there, guys, because if you think it is, then you're going to get quite stuck. Um, Stockholm. Back to London is a pretty good flight and probably the one that I will take because you do want to think about where you're ending up here. Um, like if I take this flight, my plane's got to fly all the way to Houston, then fly Houston to Atlanta and then it's in Atlanta. We'll get another flight from Atlanta when I'm stuck in London airport. It's going to be difficult. So we'll take this Stockholm on here and I'm going to go back to our flight planner, which is G. So we double tap G and he goes running off there. And if you watch, this is what happens. You just see him go running back to his office and we get taken to this screen. We go on there and we're going to put this one in here. Uh, which is for Friday. So first thing tomorrow morning, uh, we're gonna fly that one. We're gonna make 72K there. So although we lose a little bit there, it's not too much of a problem. Now, why did I take this flight? Because tomorrow, Friday, we then end up back in London and being London as our home airport, that is gonna be the place that gives us the most flights when we go to the flight centers. Now, one good thing about Falcon Line's office is right down here is the flight center for normal flights. Um, so just to explain very quickly, this one here is flights that'll be throughout the week. The last minute travel one I did, which was down this way-ish, uh, that's like last minute flights and they will all be either today or tomorrow. Um, so on this one, anything from London, now we're looking for our 180 plane. This is until Tuesday. It's a very short flight. So, you know, the premium's not great, but it is very short and we're gonna end up in Dublin. So I'm gonna take that for our other plane because it's got until Tuesday on that anyway. Uh, Athens to London, okay. Very short flight, very high premium. We definitely wanna take that. Um, Riyadh, that's a bit too far. Berlin's not quite enough money, not enough money. And Ottawa back to London would be good if we could get ourselves out to Ottawa, but it's probably not going to work. Another little tip, if you go and get a couple of flights and you didn't get everything you wanted, oh, okay, haley has gone in there. Um, but basically what I was going to show you is as soon as you go back in, more flights will have loaded up of, of the ones that you've taken. Um, so you'll see here we've got some new flights that we didn't have before. Um, and so that's a useful little tip there. Uh, let's hit G twice and get right back up to our flight planner. And a lot of the early game is all about this stuff. Um, another quick tip, this plane here is smaller, right? It can only take 126 passengers. Fly anything you can on this plane because it will give you a higher premium. And just to prove my point, I'm gonna earn 120K by flying that one there, right? If I go back and do it on the 180 plane, okay, I would earn 130. So another little tip there, the smallest plane is always the one that you wanna try and fly your flights on. Um, so there we go, I'm gonna make 120K there, Athens to London tomorrow morning. And the 181 needs to do my London to Dublin flight. Well, it's in London anyway, so there's gonna be absolutely no expense in it, like traveling, like here it has to fly to Stockholm first and we lose money, that's not the case here. Um, and then if I get another flight from London, it's only gonna be a small expense to get it back from Dublin. So it's only making me 9K, but it's still, it's a profit. Okay, it's good. Uh, that there, no free gate, so that's not a good time to do it, okay? It's gonna hurt your reputation because people will be having to queue up and stuff. So you wanna put it where that's not an issue. Um, so now our 180 is going to be in Dublin as of tomorrow and our 126 is going to be in London as of tomorrow. So we're looking for good flights from London tomorrow. So we're going to come down here again 
And chances are we're going to get to a stage where there's going to be no flights that we want to take. Uh, and it looks like we might be there now. Um, yeah, I think we are. Okay. So we've done all that we can do for the flights for now, so we're not going to worry about that too much. The next thing I'm going to do is go next door. So this is my normal office, which is O. This is my personal office, P. So we hit P twice, and we're going to go into our personal office, and I'll show you guys a couple of little tips in here. Um, so we'll speak to this lady here first. Hello, boss. Here are the current applications. Which ones do you want? Okay, so I can choose what applications I want to look at. And right now, I don't have any new planes, uh, so I don't need pilots or flight attendants. I could, if I wanted to, look to upgrade the current pilots and flight attendants I have and get some, some very good staff in there doing good work. But for now, I want to show you guys about this one. I'm looking for advisors. So she's now provided me with everyone that's applied to be an advisor for this airline. So, for example, we've got a staff advisor. This is how much salary they're going to take. That's their evaluation. They are a talented person, their age. And they give you a little stuff here. Let's so this one says, Francois has just overcome the death of his fourth wife. Because he is bored now, he has decided to return to his old profession. You get some pretty funny ones amongst these, so I might keep an eye out for them. Now, I'm not looking for a staff advisor. Um, a route advisor, I'm going to take this. I don't want this, but it's going to be useful for you guys. And particularly if you're new to this game, if you can get a route advisor um, gifted or very highly talented or anything that's better than sort of average, um, I would suggest you take that person. And we'll come on to that in just a second. Um, okay, an order analyst. Um, an order analyst is also quite a useful person to have if you're new to the game. So I'm going to, again, take them for now. I'm going to fire these guys in a minute, but I'll show you what they can do before we do that. Informer, moderately talented, and a plane analyst. If you're looking to buy a new plane and you're not too sure, a plane analyst can be useful. Um, and you know what, let's, let's employ these people, informers and stuff. Now, I wouldn't normally employ an informer that's moderately talented, but I do want to try and show you guys this game as well as... Uh, you know make money and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna go back down here by hitting T twice um, or you can double click it as well oh someone was in there so we're gonna wait now if I hover over here you'll notice in the bottom right corner we've got a guy who gives us a little rating of the flight and you can basically just look at the faces if it's a smiley face you're looking at there's a pretty good uh, flight there oh now this is useful see here uh, you'll see Kiev to London Sunday 21 K's 90 passengers zero penalty so on this one here, if we don't fly this flight, we have to pay a million dollars. That is a huge penalty and not something we want to do. With this one here, it doesn't matter. If it's zero penalty, guys, just take it. And if you can fit it in, great. And if you can't, it doesn't matter. You just, you know, you don't lose any money at all. So that's what that advice does. That's my order analyst. Now, if we come over here um, and we go up to the route board by hitting R twice or double clicking it, as I said, um, we will see all these different routes that are available to us. And if I hover over there, you can see there, in the bottom right corner, that is my route advisor, and he's going to tell me uh, whether or not I should take this. Now, the information I would get from this guy, because he was only moderately talented, is going to be quite limited. If I had a, a more competent employee, I'd get better information, so that's how that works. Um, so let's go back to the personal office by hitting P twice once again, and I'm going to show you something else that is another useful tip. We're going to speak Mr. to Mr. Hagedorn. Hi, boss. What can I do for you? So I want to see the file with my advisors. The file with my advisors. And what we're going to do is uh, the root advisor. I'm going to fire you. I've showed you guys what this person does now. Uh, fire the order analyst as well and the informer. Informers are useful, um, but not a moderately talented one. I want one that's the top of the top, you know, gifted or better. I would say. Uh, plane analyst. I wanted to show you guys. So we're going to the museum by hitting M twice, and we'll run off down to the museum here. And this is where you can buy second-hand planes. And you'll see here again, the guy in the bottom right is let me know whether or not this would be a good buy. So he's saying, this plane's okay if you don't want first class. This plane's okay if you don't want first class. This plane's very good condition. The price is what you expect to pay. So we're looking here, you know, for about 2.7 million, we can get a pretty good plane there. Um, and it's worth noting that. Uh, now I could go to the bank and try to get a loan and buy that now, but I don't want to do that just yet. What I'd actually want to do is hit T twice and uh, go back to the travel agents to see uh, if there's any good flights that have come in. Um, okay, so Riyadh to London. There's a lot of those. If I could get like out to, oh, Frankfurt, nah, it's not a very good one. Ottawa to London. All right, so we're not seeing any great flights. And if I hit G twice a second, we'll go and look at our globe again. Um, so yeah, they are both still kind of stranded here. So it might be worth me chucking that one in there um, and just getting that flight done. Oh, Kiev to London on Sunday. Okay, so we'll put that one in there. Uh, 109k there, we we'll lose 34 there. So it's a, it's a decent amount. Uh, but what we're gonna do 
is I'm going to go to last minute travel right now and see if there's a flight that my 126 can fly from Rome to Athens that flies either today or tomorrow morning. Either of those will work. Um, so we want to quickly get in there. I think this place might shut at 4 o'clock actually. Uh, okay, none of these end in Athens, so it's not going to work. Um, I will... Yeah, okay, they've closed now for the day. Um, you can also check by hitting T twice, go back to the travel agents and just have a look and see if there's any that say, you know, until a certain day. Uh, but no, there's none of those. So it's worth keeping an eye out for those ones, uh, but unfortunately, uh, it doesn't always work out. Now, at about 5.30, I think it is, your day ends and you have to leave. You can leave before that by clicking on this coat here, it says they're finished work, or by hitting the tab key, um, and then your day will just end. But what I wanna do is, before my day ends, another little tip, guys, figure out where your planes are, because tomorrow morning, the first thing I'm gonna do is run to last minute travel, and I know, right, my 180 is in Dublin, so anything around Dublin that I can fly tomorrow morning, I wanna take that immediately. This up here is the time, by the way, so zero is sort of midnight, then 4 a.m., 8 a.m. When you get to work, it's 9 a.m. So you're already coming in here, right? And see how this is blacked out? It means you can't put flights there. First thing in the morning, this is blacked out. These flights are done, and your plane is immediately just sat around doing nothing. So you want to get a flight as soon as possible. So I'm going to memorize that my 180 is in Dublin, and my 126 tomorrow is going to be in Atlantis, which isn't a great place for it to be, um, but I didn't take this flight, of course. It was just given to me. So I'm going to fly and try and work around it. Um, and hopefully we can get this penalty down by getting a flight from somewhere near Atlantis back to somewhere near Kiev. Um, so that was kind of day one, guys. That was all about the flights and making some money, right? And we started on 1.5 million. That's going to go up, um, and I'm going to show you some new things in the new day. So let's hit the tab key. Let's end the day here. 1.5 mil is where we started, and day two, 1750. So that's good. Passengers were doing very well on 540 passengers. Our personnel are good, 92%. You see, compared to the others, that's very good. Planes are 100%. That's what we'd expect right now. Um, so I'm going to sit through this meeting. As I develop through this Let's Play series, I'll listen to the uh, talking less and less because you guys will just be used to it and it does get a bit kind of annoying. Um, but I'll just show you what a typical morning meeting looks like right here. Good morning. Welcome to the meeting. Let's start with Sunshine Airlines. Your airline is average. That's okay, but it can definitely do with improvement. The condition of your planes is exemplary. Keep up the good work. Your flight personnel are average. Okay, next is Falcon Lines. Your reputation is okay, but you should still work on it. Your planes are in excellent condition. You're an example to us all. Your flight personnel are competent and do good work. And now, Phoenix Travel. Polls say that your airline is neither very liked nor disliked. Your planes are in excellent condition. You're an example to us all. Your flight personnel are average. And finally, Honey Airlines. Your airline is okay, but nothing special. The condition of your planes is exemplary. Keep up the good work. Your flight personnel are average. Okay, that's it. Thank you for your time. Okay, so that's the morning meeting done there. We're back in the office. Um, so 126 is gonna be in Atlantis pretty soon, and the 180 is already in Dublin. So we're gonna hit L twice, and we're gonna run on down to the last minute travel and see, oh, we're gonna beat her? Haha, <laughs> I beat Hayley. <laughs> um, okay, so what have we got here? We got Dublin back to London. Uh, that's tomorrow. Um, stop home to London would be today. Um, stop home to Kiev on Saturday. None of these flights are great. Um, okay, we got one there with no penalty, so I'll take that one. Um, you know, I'm just gonna take that one for now. Let's go back to the globe. I'll hit spacebar so we can just get straight on back there. Um, and see if we can do this one. So this is for today. So I'm gonna lose 8K, but then I'm gonna earn 283, so I won't lose too much sleep over that one. And this one's going to end up in Helsinki. Um, now, this one's gonna be in Atlantis today, which is just really annoying. Um, it's kind of cool that they have Atlantis as part of the game. You know, I, I have to say that it's quite fun. Um, so I'm looking at flights now that end in London. New York to London would be good, but it's for the wrong plane, my 126, and these passengers are 180. See how easy it is? You just kind of memorize the stuff. Again, that would have been good, but it's not the right plane size. Uh, okay, nothing there at the moment. All right, we're gonna go back to the boss's office now, guys, and we do that by hitting U twice. And if you hover over, you see that airport manager U, it gives you the hotkey, uh, so it's easy to learn. Um, these are branch offices, and we wanna take all of these. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna bid on these, um, and basically, I'm gonna go into the branch offices and stuff a lot more, but what I wanna just say for now is just take these. The money that you spend on them is definitely worth it. So we're gonna go and take those, and now we're gonna go down to duty free by hitting D twice. Um, and there's a few things to show in duty free actually that are pretty cool. So first thing I wanna do 
is by a mobile phone. Um, now, this is one of those things, it's not actually essential. You don't have to buy a mobile phone. Um, and it's $300,000, so it's kind of, it's, it is an expensive item. Um, you know what, I'm actually not gonna do it. I've, I always buy a mobile phone, but I'm not gonna do it on this game. All the mobile phone does is it allows you to call your branches and competitors or have them call you um, from pretty much anywhere that you like. But I'm gonna show you some important things uh, that are in this duty free shop that you kind of won't learn, you kind of have to just figure them out. So the first one is this right up here. This horseshoe, this lucky horseshoe, is something that you want. Now if I click it, that is not for sale. she doesn't let me take it, you see. But I'm gonna show you how to get that lucky horseshoe and it'll make you lucky with like getting flights and a whole range of other stuff that I'll come on to. Second thing, violin case, 80 grand, buy it. Why are we buying the violin case? Because we give it to Petrol Air and it unlocks uh, sabotage attacks. We can sabotage our competitors in a whole range of ways. Now Petrol Air, if I click on that, you'll see here um, that Monday to Saturday, it doesn't open until 11. So it's only 10.50, we have to wait. We can click on the clock to speed up time and uh, it's worth doing. Because if I come in here, we'll speak to this guy right here and we click on this. Thank you, that is very kind of you. Push on the fire extinguisher on your right. It will certainly interest you. <laughs> okay, so having given him the uh, the violin case, if we click on this right here, we get this room, this very cool room here with all kinds of stuff, and then we can talk to this guy. What do you want, weakling? Something about a competitor, I guess. Now we can choose here to sabotage people. So if I said I want to sabotage yes. Haley, Sunshine Airways. And what do you want me to do to him? To him. Um, so I can do planes very personal, special, Something and if you click on these things, and I'll just click through it, you can do all different things sabotage-wise. Now we're not gonna do sabotage right yet, but I just thought I'd show you guys that. Uh, now to get uh, the horseshoe, we wanna go up and see this guy, the plane broker, by hitting E twice. Um, and I'll hit spacebar so we get right up there. Now nothing's happening here at the moment. It's just this guy where you buy new planes from. They're much more expensive than they are in the museum. But sometimes when you come in here, this overhead locker will open and there'll be a bra inside it, right? So you get the bra, you go back to duty free, you give the bra to the chick, and then you take the horseshoe. We're gonna do that on camera at some stage. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys a few different things today rather than purely doing the flights. The next thing I wanna do is hit B twice and go to the bank. And the bank is a very pivotal part, sorry, pivotal part of this game, I should say. Uh, and the reason for that is as follows. First of all, you have shares in your company, right? So Kaiser owns 80% of Falcon Airlines, which makes me majority shareholder, and that's how that works, right? No one else has an ownership in it. And everyone at the moment owns 80% of their own uh, shares. You can, if you want, buy shares in a certain airline. It will take money out of here uh, to buy them. If you own more than 50% of an airline, uh, you basically take that airline over and that's how you get extra gates and stuff. Well, it's one of the ways you get extra gates. Um, also, I was gonna say, make sure you keep looking in the bin in the bank. See, there's some money there. So I'm on 1655 right now. Let's click that money. Boom, 1755. Um, no, no, everything's all right. Thank you all the same. This bank provides an excellent service. <laughs> okay, so I just found 100K in the bin, so keep your eye out for that, guys. I know all the little tips and tricks in this game, and I will give you them all over this Let's Play series. Um, so there we go. I've showed you a few different buildings there, a couple of things that are important. Um, I would say with the branches, by the way, just make sure you go back at the end of the day and check them. Um, okay, so the next thing I want to do here is say, all right, this guy, this 126 is still stuck in Atlantis, and the 180 is going to be in Helsinki at the end of the day. So we're going to hit L twice, we're going to go back down, to last minute travel and see if we can't get ourselves some kind of good flights here. Um, so London to Helsinki today, that could work actually. Um, Kiev back to London today. Okay, I am actually going to take both of these and I'm gonna quickly get back up to my globe and try and work this out. So Kiev back to London. Oh, dang, this isn't gonna work very well. All right, so first thing I need to do is see if this plane can fly any of them and it can. Uh, can we do that one? We lose 38, we gain 46. All right, I made a bit of a mistake there, but I still end up profiting overall, so that's not too bad. And it does at least get this plane back to London, which is a lot better. Um, so this one here can fly this flight here, and that will make us a tidy little profit there. Look at that. So eventually you manage to get these flight plans all booked out, but when you're starting off, it's really difficult. You see here, I can only basically get it to tomorrow. Um, so we'll go back down to the travel desk. Um, and we'll see here what there are, if there's any good flights here. Um, there's a lot of flights from America, I don't understand why that is. Palma de Mallorca to London on Saturday, that could be a good one. 
And if I go back and just see what that was replaced by, another one there and zero penalty, so I'll take that. Go back to the globe, try the 126 first, um, and we can get both of these in. Look at that. So 62 and 62 is 144 minus 18. So realistically, we're earning about 124, 126, whatever it is, K, out of those two. That's pretty decent. Um, oh, we have a letter here as well. Let's see what this is. Uh, discover the golden oldies. You get loads of like random letters in this uh, that you just kind of have to get rid of. Uh, let's jump back into our personal office. Um, and I'm going to whiz through it this time and just see what advisors we have. One application from a fitness trainer, very talented. Okay, I'm going to show you guys something right now. Um, let's run to duty free. So I hit D twice and notice the speed that I'm going here, okay? You can kind of get a feel for that, right? And let's, let, we don't need to go all the way there, but let's go back up to our personal office. Get our advisors file out by clicking through, employ this person. And now when we hit D twice, see how I'm going a bit faster? Alrighty. So this guy. Uh, fitness sim guy that I've got will make me move around the airport faster. That obviously is incredibly useful. Uh, it saves you a whole lot of time. So next thing I want to do, I want to hit W twice. And we're going to run right down here like this, right to the far end, uh, the far right end of this airport. And we're going to go to the workshop. Now this guy is the one who repairs all your planes and that kind of thing. So he's quite important to keep happy. So let's have a little chat with him. Hi, can I help you? Okay, so I would like to say, yes. what can you do for me? What can you do for me? My people can repair your planes. For just 48,000 a month, Carl will do the absolute minimum work required on the plane. For just 150,000 a month, I've got two engineers who will overhaul the plane. My apprentice Timmy can practice on your machines for 18,000 per month. Prices are per plane, plus expenses like oil, spare parts and things like that. So how can I help you? Okay, so he's given us a good rundown there of, of what happens. Um, so now we say, I want to talk to you about I my want planes. To talk to you about my planes. Carl is maintaining your planes. Who should do it from now on? So we don't want to be spending a ridiculous amount of money on this. Uh, but at the same time, the apprentice is going to mess up our planes. So really, it's going to need to be the guy in the middle. That's how I'd recommend you start out. Um, we're not in financial trouble. We're up to two million now. So let's keep Carl maintaining the planes. Carl should maintain my planes. And there we go, we get the budget. I just thought I'd show you guys that. Uh, now, to run back to my office, I have to go past the plane broker. So let's hit E twice, go and see the plane broker first and see if the bra is there. Um, and if not, then I'll find it for you uh, on a later episode. Uh, it's still not there, it doesn't want to come down. Um, so I think maybe you have to get a certain way into the game before it does that, which is fine. Um, let's go to the travel agents. It's getting towards the end of the day now, 3.20. Uh, we want to try and book out some more flights and get some more money rolling in. Uh, but it's not looking like there's there's many great flights at the moment. Um, and there's loads of flights that are like from America to London, but none that are from London to America. So it's really annoying because you do lose a lot of money flying that long way uh, without having a, a flight booked. Um, some really random flights here. I don't know how I'm fixed for today well enough to take those flights yet. So let's just quickly look at this. Uh, so we're booked out for today. Yeah, we're pretty booked out. So anything London to Palma de Mallorca would be great. Uh, now sometimes I'll take a flight that's got a bad premium um, if it's in a situation like this where this plane has to fly between London and Palma. Now it's going to lose nine grand, um, but if this was a longer flight like to New York or something, then it could be losing, you know, uh, say 80,000 or something. Now if I take a plane uh, route, sorry, order um, that's got a bad premium and instead of uh, you know, losing 80k, I still lose money because it's got a bad premium, but I lose 60k, that's still 20 grand saved. So, another little tip there if you can find a flight like this, even if it's got a bad premium, if your plane has to do it anyway, just take it. Um, kind of common sense, but just little things I'm trying to point out along the way. Um, so, none of these are going to Palma de Mallorca, so that's not going to work. We'll have a little look through and see if any have got good premiums, and they don't really for, for what we're looking for. Um, Kiev to London until Wednesday, I'll take that one. And I'll, oops, meant to go in there and see what that was replaced by. London to Berlin tomorrow. No, I won't do that one. Okay, Kiev to London. Do I have any of these Kiev to London? There's a Kiev to London there. Um, I guess I'll just put that one in there because it's until Wednesday and we're going to earn a little tiny bit. And it's kind of how it happens at first. You just make little bits along the way, right? Um, so, okay, our flight plan's booked out um, apart from this one. So, 
Our 180 is in London tomorrow. Oh, and that's shut now. Okay. So we might, uh, sorry, it's in Warsaw tomorrow. Um, so we might need to go to last minute travel first thing tomorrow morning to do that. Um, none of these are worth doing. Okay, it's towards the end of the day. Let's go back up to Urig's office and check something. So it says Falcon Lines all across these. That means I'm good. If it was saying a different airline's name, it means someone has outbid me. So at the moment, no one has outbid me. It's five o'clock, they probably won't outbid me. So what I'm gonna do is just skip to tomorrow and uh, call it a day. So we went from two million, let's see how we do overnight. Hmm, we dropped down a little bit, but I think I know why that is. Um, now I'm going to cancel the briefing today. You guys have seen it and you know, I don't think you need to see it again uh, every day basically. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is, yeah, we had a couple of these in here that lost us some money, but these, once these get processed, should be earning us money. All right, our 180 is stuck in Warsaw, people, and Saturday's last minute travel is closed. That is a disaster. So now we go to this one, and we're looking for something that's got a, uh, a time, like a date of until, like, so here, until Friday, so I could technically fly that today. Um, yeah, this is not looking good. Um, Stockholm to London tomorrow. 264,000. That is a great flight, so we're going to take that one. Um, London to Cairo on Tuesday. It's not great, and then I'm stuck in Cairo as well, which is also not great. Um, yeah, I don't think many of these are looking like they're going to be... Oh, London to Vienna on Tuesday. Yeah, okay, so we've got two great flights there, and you'll see now the type of profits we're going to make on these. Um, so this one here we'll put in there, and this one here we'll put in there. So that one there is going to make us 242 grand, that one there is going to make us 209 grand. So for this stage of the game, those are very good. Uh, we've got a message here saying that we're the highest bidder on all three of our branches, which is great. Um, now guys, I am going to leave it there for today. I think this is a good opening episode. Uh, we've kind of had a look at everything. Uh, I've showed you a lot of the airport. There's still 101 things to see. And like the little bra thing where you can do the swap for the bra and the horseshoe, um, there are so many of those in this game and as we go through it, I'm going to explain them all to you I'm going to show you all the little tips and tricks and we'll get up to where we were in the previous game where we are billionaires um, and extending our flight uh, and our airline out so um, guys I hope you enjoyed this episode uh, it's new to the series of course so let me know what you thought and um, you know if there's something you want to see something you want to explain better of course leave a comment let me know um, but for now that is going to be it so as always guys thanks very much for watching and I will see you next time